What a good misty and rainy morning to you folks. We have just left Afrikaans and we're on our way to Hermanus to go and have breakfast or something. So we'll show you that and we'll see you when we get there. But there's a bit of the road. They say travel is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. This week we embrace that idea as we take you on a two-day road trip from the serene beauty of Stanford Hills to the vibrant city of Cape Town. We stay over in the charming little town of Betty's Bay. So come and join us for this adventure. Can't really show you much of the road and the mountains because it's still misty and rainy. We're heading off to Hermanus to see if we can get breakfast or what there is to do in Hermanus fast this morning. Let's go! We've made it back to Hermanus. No whales in the bay at the moment hang around and see if we can find anything otherwise today we're going to take a drive up the coast up to Betty's Bay and we'll show you our drive and what Betty's Bay is like but what a stunning way to start the drive out here at Hermanus a nice overcast day not too hot yet beautiful So walking on the promenade here in Hermanus, you've got this beautiful view but there's so much else to explore. Lots of art that they've got along the promenade here that you can stop and look at. What a stunning spot man. So it's breakfast time. We found a place called Frozen. I ordered a Benedict croissant or something like that. We didn't put that a try. We'll see you after that. Well, folks, breakfast has arrived. It looks delicious, and so it's going to be delicious. So we have that. It was she will be there. That was an absolute delicious breakfast. We are now off to Betty's Bay, so we'll take you along the coastline till we get to Betty's Bay, show you a bit of the drive, if weather permits. Well folks, we've made it to our accommodation here in Betty's Bay. We've got a nice little sea view, but the weather's not playing along. It is still very overcast and rainy, so we're going to go and have a bit of a lie down and I'll show you more of Betty's Bay a little bit later, if we can. But we had quite a nice scenic drive here, even though it was overcast and very rainy in some sections. But it still has been a nice day, so we're going to quickly have a bit of a nap 
and it you know, maybe gears up and go show you the beach or whatever else we can find do today. Let's go. This is our accommodation. We've got a nice little outside area where you've got a nice view of the sea over there. View. And if you just go into the room, we've got our bed. Room's got a little TV, cupboard, and a bathroom. So that's all we really need. It's a room in a house, and it's called Trail House Accommodations. It's very, very nice. The mountains are right behind us, so you can actually see the mountains from the front of the house where we've parked. You're almost in the bushes. There's a very, very nice little spot this. But anyway, we're going to go and have a lie down and we'll see you after that. It's gonna probably blow so much you can't hear me, but we've come down to Betty's Bay to come and see the penguin. It's the second largest penguin colony on the West Bay. It's actually quite late afternoon. So just come to see the penguins a bit, buy some charcoal, and then we're gonna go home to our accommodation. We're gonna go and cry. Folks, it is miserable weather out there. The wind is blowing and it is chilly. But we managed to see a couple of penguins there on um, the beach. So that was lovely. Actually saw more penguins there than, uh, or closer than what we did at boulders in certain instances. But anyway, we're off back to our little uh, room. We're going to make a braai again tonight. And then we will carry on with this adventure. So let's go. Well, folks, we are back from our trip down to the beach. Saw the penguins. Got the bra fires lit. The place we stayed has got this quaint little bra hut out here. So he's going to sit out here tonight. Bra, have our supper here. Getting to bed early, and then we'll see you when we're back on the road. But let's see what this bra area looks like. Bra, you've got a little bra shack. And of course, it's time for a drink. So, cheers. Man, that's what I love about um, doing these roads here in the Western Cape and just in between the farms and everything. You find lovely little stalls like this. Just stopped at this place here at Slander Park. And my goodness, some delicious coffee. The bakery is baking up a storm. This I've got, got myself a croissant a coffee before we hit the road again. But what a cute little stall that is again. I love coming out to these little butt stalls and that kind of thing. Always something interesting to discover. Anyway, we're going to have this and we're going to hit the road to Jerk. Exactly. 
It's a hell of a gradient for a train. And I reflect. Well, that was a little bit intense. We just came over Solaris Pass and it was windy like you cannot believe, misty and rainy. We're just on the other side now and you can see all of a sudden clear skies. But coming over that pass, we saw a steam train coming past there, but it was tense. The car was shaking left and right. I just at some stage felt like the car was actually floating on the road, but thank goodness we get over there now. Let's go! So we've made it into Somerset West, just driving through Somerset West, getting on to Cape Town. We've still got about 49 minutes to go. just hit a roadblock. There's sea sand all over the road. Everybody's going shh. Look at this. Hopefully these look at it. That's fine. Show them the sea sand. Yeah, but Lowry's past and now we almost got stuck um, coming in on a highway with all the sand that's across the road. I don't know if you can see on the video all the cars were slipping and sliding across the road and we did exactly the same. The car behind us actually um, did it too slow and got stuck. Alright guys let's show you a little bit more of the road but that was quite dense. We're continuing with our drive along the coastline here. We've just left Fishhook. Beautiful spot there. We actually had some like a hake and chips there at a little spot there. Beautiful. Sat there but watched the guys doing windsurfing and then we took a walk on the promenade there. What a beautiful spot. But we are continuing on a road, it's still misty, it's not rainy anymore, but it's still misty and very, very windy. If that tells you anything. So we're heading towards Chapman's Peak. In one of our previous videos you saw us um, doing the Chapman's Peak drive. And we're heading that way again. It is definitely one of my best drives in South Africa. It is an absolute stunning drive with that dramatic scenery. You don't get any better. Anyway, we'll see if we can show you a little bit of that in this misty, windy weather. Let's go.
all along Chapman's Peak Drive there's places where you can stop and enjoy the view the one right at the top here is my favorite because you actually walk around a bit and see quite a bit The Windian Cape Town is affectionately known as the Cape Dock Town and it's definitely in office today. We're sitting in the car still here at Chapman Peak and the car is shaking when the wind blows. You didn't open your door without them um, holding on to it because you'll find it somewhere there in the sea. Alright guys, we're going to continue with our drive up to Cape Town to see if there's anything else we can show you. Let's go! Well, what a beautiful drive that was. We finally reached Cape Town. We're going to spend the next couple of days just relaxing in Cape Town with some friends. And then we're off to our next adventure. We're going to visit another one of the Africamps. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen our previous video, go back, go watch our previous video when we were at Africamps in Stanford. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Cheers.